Hey guys, welcome back to Total Tech, um, and today we're going to go through how to um, enable menu autocomplete for Ubuntu Bash. Um, so, um, if you guys are new to this channel, this is just a little channel for tech tips that I find useful. Hopefully, you'll find useful too. And if you do, um, we appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'll share with your friends. You know. So let's open up Ubuntu right now, and we're going to open up Ubuntu here. I already have it open, and um, you know, a lot of times when people do things in Ubuntu, and especially when they're moving through directories and stuff, they'll do something like CD and then slash H, and then you know, hit Tab. And then that'll autocomplete um, the path, and if you tap again, it'll autocomplete again. But um, sometimes that's not exactly what you want to do, and you want to see like all the options of um, your commands that you're typing. So right now, if I just type C and hit Tab, nothing really happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable something called Menu Autocomplete, and this will help um, kind of be more efficient for cycling through commands and seeing which commands you want by typing less. Um, so what we're going to do in order to do this is we're going to uh, modify a file called InputRC, and this file just tells um, you want to kind of like how to use your keyboard inputs and what to do with them. So in order to do this, we need to do a super do, and we're going to do vi, and the file is in slash etc, and it's called input rc. rc, and then tap the password in because it's a super user do, and we're going to go all the way to the end of the file, hit i for insert, and um, so the goal of this is we're going to do uh, we're going to make tab our our key for cycling between possible completions. And so we'll have tab be cycle forward, and we'll have shift tab be cycle backwards. And um, everything that's preceded by a hashtag in blue here is just done, um, or a pound symbol, you know, is uh, just a comment, so it won't actually um, be used. And in order to do this, we're going to uh, type tab, hit colon, and then this is going to be menu complete. And then for shift tab, it's actually not, we can't just say shift tab because um, uh, Linux doesn't recognize that. So we have to do um, double quotes slash E. And then we're going to do first bracket Z. And then close the double quotes and then do colon again. And then we're going to call this menu complete backward. Um, so this will give us a two options to um, do tab to cycle through the list of commands and then shift tab will uh, reverse cycle so that if you miss it you can go backwards. Um, we're also going to add something to display possible um, possible matches uh, when you're typing. So just display list of matches for completion. In order to do this we're going to set two things. We're going to set show all if unmodified on and set show all if ambiguous on and this will just give us the option to um, see the all, all the list of possible um, commands and combinations and stuff so we're gonna hit escape colon wq to write to file and then we're gonna open up a new bash to reload that so now when I hit C and I hit tab it's gonna ask me oh do you want to list all the 271 possibilities of the commands that you're running um, that start with C. Um, I'm going to say no, because that's pretty long. So I think if it goes over 100, it'll give you the, the option to say, um, you know, do you want to display all the possibilities? And it's a lot. But if I do like CH for like CH mod and I hit tab, now it'll show me all the possible um, inputs. And you can see that it already auto filled right here CH age. Um, so it's like starting to cycle through the possible combinations. So if I keep hitting tab, it'll go through all these combinations and possible commands. And if I hold shift tab, it'll reverse cycle that, which is pretty useful. And this also now applies to CD. So if we do CD and we do slash and I just um, hit tab, it'll give you all the possibilities for um, that part of the item. And then if I do cycle through, I can cycle through all the possible directories. So let's say we want to go to, uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to home. Now if I do that and I uh, go to home, whoops, then that will give us the option to go to home. And then if I want to go to, if I can do this correctly, uh, Tosi, it'll give us the possible um, ability, the possible uh, combinations for Tosi also. And so this is just a really quick way to um, uh, quickly improve your autocomplete and menu autocomplete, and it's not enabled by default. So hopefully that was useful for you guys. If you guys find it useful, um, this will kind of improve your ability to use commands quickly. Um, it does take a little bit getting used to with the tab and shift tabbing and everything, um, but once you get used to it, it's pretty, um, pretty, pretty useful. So, thank you again. Um, be sure to share with your friends again, and hope you guys have a good day.